All right, here we go. We're going out for a uh, forage, looking for seps. This beautiful Irish wood. My buddy Ronan. Hey. Hey, what's up? Got my coffee. And there goes Mickle. Here we go. See what we can find. All right, first find. Look at this beautiful wood. Oh yeah, muscaria. Sweet. I'm coming down. But right now, this is come some kind of bolete. Possibly a sep. It's a birch bolete. Look at that. Beautiful birch bolete. You can tell by the dotting on the side. It's a birch bolete. Beautiful. You got some Amanita muscaria up there? There's one there. Holy shit. Look at that. Oh man. Beautiful. Beautiful caps. Look at that. They're just everywhere. So this one looks like it's um, Fomatopsis betulina, uh, birch polypore. Uh, it's a natural antibiotic and antiviral. This just kind of looks like a puffball growing out of a tree. Some kind of birch, maybe a silver birch. Is that a silver birch, Rodon? Right yeah. Is it? Yeah, it looks like a silver birch. Yeah. yeah. And uh, they're a natural antibiotic. They found these on uh, Utsi, the Iceman. Mm. He had it with him. Yeah. Beautiful woods. Right up there. Beautiful wood. Look at that. More of those. Over cool. there. Oh yeah, whatever those things are. Oh. This looks like it's a red crack bolete, I'm guessing. Zero camellus chrysanteron. It's got the red, yeah, it's a red crack, crack bolete. It's a little slimy in the pores. But you can pull the pores off and eat it. But this one's too far gone. But it's a lovely, lovely mushroom. I've eaten them. They're actually nice. And you can see all around it is um, wood sorrel. Now this is really lovely lemony. Mm, yeah. Mm, beautiful lemony taste. Looks like sorrel, but it's a freaking clover. It's a pretty little clover. It kind of grows like flat along the forest floor. It's everywhere here, you can see. Hey buddy. Oh, Holly. Go. Look at these saps run on found. Look at these beauties. A little eaten, but this one looks okay. It's a sep, all right. Are they birch bolets? No, they're very big, aren't they? Yeah, it's a sep, I think. I can't really tell by the stem, but. Oh no, that's a sap. Yeah. Find a big oh, yeah. Another one here. You've been eaten by the slugs. I mean, we're just a little bit too late. Yeah. Yeah, they're gone fucking. They're gone Maldi. soft. Scarlatina bolete. Beautiful. These are one of my favorites. And they are edible apparently, but they do have a deadly look-alike. The Sat Boletus satanus, or Satan's bolete. At the colors there you can't see too well but it's not reticulated it is oh god damn this focus is not going well the um they have dots on the side not reticulation so that means it's edible i'm not going to kill you the lured bolete has reticulation and satan bolita satanus has reticulation as well Lovely, lovely specimen. By the way, you start going mushroom foraging and you start listening to yourself say douchey stuff like lovely specimen. Like, who the hell am I? 
but there it is a lovely specimen and this bruise is blue so hold on, hold on. <laughs> okay so Renan's going to demonstrate for us the scarlatina the change in color now give it a break there watch that Blush is blue, turns blue instantly, and it gets real dark. Amazing. So this this is called a wallowing. It's a pit where stags fight, and then they end up rolling around in it. They go mad, just all jacked up on hormones, and uh, that's it. There's deer in these woods. There's deer in them narrow woods. What's that, Mickle? You smell something? You smell something, buddy? He smells it. He smells the deer. He smell that venison. Oh, this is, uh, I think this is a yellow stainer. All right, now we just passed through some serious brush and I had to carry my little dog with me. He's doing great though. Really proud of this little guy. He's a real, uh, real forest dog. Look at him go. To carry him around like I'm freaking Paris Hilton or something. Alright, on we go. This little Irish brook. Beautiful. Here we go, back through the birch forest. We just passed through Party Central here. All these cans. So, what's that? Chicken of the woods? Yes. Oh, here's a sap. Beautiful sap, actually. A little far gone, though. Yeah. Might leave it be. Yeah. Nice sap. Oh, okay. There's one there, don't, don't bite just on Jake Mickle there. No, he just passed it. Oh, yeah. I don't know. I think this one is maybe poisonous. Yeah. But this is, anyway. this was something right here. Yeah. This is, um, I think, a death cap. No way. This is a death cap. Fuck. I think. I'm not positive. There's another one up there as well. Um, or some kind, some kind of... Now this, the, the universal veil on top is making me think it maybe it isn't, but the sickly green color, the white gills, oh yeah, sorry. Turn it over on the side there, yeah. Yeah, and there's the, mm -hmm. oh no, maybe it isn't, maybe it's something else, but, and this has been eaten away, the vulva at the bottom. What's that? Yeah, yeah, the destroying angel. The destroying angel. Yeah, what are those? Jeez, there's all sorts of weird mushrooms. I don't know what those are. Deceivers, maybe? Yeah. I'm not sure now. I wouldn't know. But this looks a little bit... Yeah. This looks a little bit like a destroying angel or a death cap. There's the bottom. I think this might be a death cap. I'm not positive. Not positive, but... Sickening... Smell, yeah. Just spotted another big stand of Amanita muscaria. Here we go. Look at the, these. They're everywhere. The woods for them, isn't it? Yeah. Look, they're all the way up there. Oh, yeah. Great place for hunting, like. Yeah. You can smell the deer. Here we go. So I think this is a brown roll rim. I think this might be deadly poisonous. I'm not 100% on that. I don't know. But we're in a lovely glen here. Beautiful. Irish woods. Pristine Irish woods. I'm gonna drop this. Why am I holding on to this? Some sorrel here, sheep sorrel. Lemon sorrel, sheep sorrel. Well, oh, sorry, yeah, sheep sorrel. And uh yeah. What's that, Mickle? Mmm, lemony, delicious. Beautiful. What are you doing, Mickle? Huh? Hey buddy. Oh, hello. It's 
It's an island for you. Hazelnuts. Hazelnuts? Everywhere. No way. What do they look like? Up here? That's a hazel All tree. Oh. Holy shit. Hazelnuts everywhere. Oh my god, look at that. Filbats. A couple of lovely filbats. Look at that. I've never seen hazelnuts like this. Look at this beautiful country road. Awesome. Here I am. How do I focus this? Beautiful. Beautiful shrine here. It says Our Lady of the Woods. That's got to be some pagan syncretism or something, doesn't it? Okay, so it's been, uh, let me just fix that. Okay. It's been a super productive mushroom season. I had a really good day of foraging today. Uh, what was really special about today was it was the first time I was foraging in a deciduous woodland. So most of the time I found seps and bay boletes and all scarlatina boletes and like really edible, primo edible species of mushrooms. It's been in coniferous woodland. Ireland is covered in plantations of, of Sitka spruce, which is produced uh, part of the, the wood, the timber industry. Uh, and that's where I found seps from now on, but the, actually in an old growth deciduous Originally in like the Bronze Age when Ireland was first occupied by humans It was covered in deciduous oak and ash woodland So this is one of those like rare forests that's in such a hilly place that it was never really exploited by farmers So it's remained a forest for, for millennia so this is the first time I've ever got to experience the forage in a deciduous woodland. Um, and uh, th th what really shocked me was I found all the same mushrooms that I found in coniferous woodlands. So I found seps, I found birch boletes, that's a bit new. Uh, I found scarlatina boletes, I found amanita muscaria, I found uh, false death cap. It was such a rich, what occurred to me, what really struck me was such a rich fungal environment. Anyway, so. Uh, in this video, I'm going to show you guys how to how to uh, cook um, boletes when you, when you see them, uh, the, when, when you find them. So here is um, the bay bolete. That's uh, what I'm going to be cooking primarily today, and because uh, I'm all out of seps. And to be honest, I'm so sick and tired of foraging for mushrooms. It's been a productive season, and just about every day or every other day, I've been cooking boletes in some way. So. I'm sick of it. I'm sick of eating mushrooms, but um, I'm going to show you how to prepare a carbonara and a kind of Asian stir fry with uh, zucchini, or sorry, in Ireland it's courgette and uh, uh, bay bolete uh, stir fry. So hopefully that's good. I don't know. I'll show you what that's like. Okay, so I'm going to be cooking up these mushrooms I foraged today, and uh, these are pine nuts. I'm going to make a mushroom pesto, so I need pine nuts. I got babelites. These are the mushrooms I got today. They're called the babelite. They're cousin of the sep. So um, I got a little garlic right here, and I got uh, pecorino cheese and reggiano. A little bit of reggiano left over. You can use any kind of parmesan whatever you want. And I got a little bit, this is optional, I got a little bit of guanciale because I had some left over. So it's not a carbonara, okay? Italian people don't get mad at me. It's not a carbonara, it's a pesto, technically. So I'm gonna mash up the pine nuts in this uh, mortar and pestle, and I'm actually gonna cook the bay bolides with the garlic, and then I'll mix that in with the pasta at the end. And I got a little olive oil, of course. So that's it. Pesto is really simple and beautiful. Um, I might throw a couple greens from the garden in there, too. I don't know at this point. Uh, salt and pepper, of course. So see how it goes. Okay, so here we go. Um, 
turn that on. And I'm going to put in some olive oil and guanciale. It's a really fatty kind of bacon cut. So that'll reduce, get all fatty, lovely. And garlic. I'm going to be getting. Ooh. Put all that garlic in. Okay. Get that going for a second. So, of course, I'm going to put in a little salt and a lot of pepper. This isn't working, so this sucks. Okay. So when the garlic starts to brown a little, that's when you put in the babel eats or whatever kind of mushrooms you have. I'm using babel eats because it's what I got. Lovely mushroom. And okay. You're always going to get a couple little bits of like pine needles and stuff in, but that's the joy of cooking wild mushrooms. So embrace it. There you go. Look at that. So these are looking real good. Just gonna stir it around. These are almost done. Turn on the fan. Okay, so here's the part where you put the cheese and the pine nuts in the mortar and pestle. You give it a give it a bit of a grind. Will I put in two pine nuts? Yeah. I love pine nuts, so put in two bags of pine nuts. You give it a bit of a grind. Oh, this is a lot of pine nuts. <laughs> this might be too much of everything, but that's okay. Grind it up. Be careful not to get any over the edge. And uh, add a little olive oil if you need to kind of loosen it up. Can make it more sticky. Okay, so these are done. So I took them off the element. Gonna add a little of the homemade so hot sauce I made. Oh yeah, yeah, baby. I like a I, really spicy, so I'm gonna put a lot in. This is from Habanero Scotch Bonnets, Bulgarian Carrots, a little Carolina Reaper in there too. Okay, so I should have done this earlier. Maybe you know it's debatable, but uh, putting on the water for the pasta. So here we go. I'm going to put some salt in there. got to put a lot of salt in pasta water because you salted before. So the pasta has a little bit of saltiness in it. Okay, so it's taking a lot of pounding, but I have smashed up the pine nuts and the cheese. And if you want, you can put the garlic in at this stage, but I like to cook the garlic with the mushrooms. It's kind of experimental, to be honest. You know, I've never really done it this intensely before. Never really done it. This is probably too much pine nuts and cheese mixed up together, but look, I like pine nuts, I like cheese. Let's throw it in. 
Okay, so now uh, the water's boiling. I'm gonna add the pasta. Just a little bit of tagliatelle. I actually didn't have any pasta, so I had to boil some for my roommate. But, uh, here we go. That should do it. Just gonna cook that for a little while. Nickel, no! Okay, so the pasta's done. So I'm gonna pour it in here. Take a little pasta water in there. And I'm gonna pour this in. It's all mixed together. I'm gonna put a little olive oil in too. And I left a little pasta water in there. Uh, just to thicken everything up. So this is probably not enough pasta for all these pine nuts and cheese, but damn it's gonna if, if it isn't gonna be really good. Okay, here we go. Gonna give it a mix there, let the cheese melt in and the pine nuts all integrate. And look at that friggin' oh, it's gonna be so good. I'm psyched. I'm psyched. There we go. Gonna let it melt a little. Get all melty. Oh, look at that. Smells amazing. They put a little black pepper on it. I'm sorry. Look at how freaking beautiful this is. Look at that. Oh, it smells so good. I thought it was too much pine nuts and cheese, but I guess the answer is you can never have too much pine nuts and cheese. And look at the bolites. I can't wait to try it. Just heating it up a little bit just to melt the cheese. And I added a little pasta water to give it a little liquid. And uh, it's already, I think it's done. I think it's done. Oh, wild mushroom pesto. There you go, wild mushroom pesto. Okay, so I can't resist. I gotta try it now. I, I was gonna wait till I sat down at the table. I can't. Here we go. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, I can really taste the mushroom. It's good. Oh, it's so good. Can't wait. Mmm. Oh, it's so good. Oh, I, 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 what a massive success. It's so good. It's so good, guys. I, I, I gotta go back in for more. It's, it's honestly, it's so good. I, I'm just gonna eat it out of this thing. Like a savage. Okay. Oh. Oh my God. <laughs> 